let's check it out and see what the hell is going on today. 67 Ford. It's getting close to firing up. Mike did all the stainless exhaust under it, that's right. Mike Tig welds. So he built all custom stainless exhaust. Once I get it up on the lift, let me turn this down for a minute. I'll show you guys. That'll be in the next video. Um, gentleman dropped off some parts for a Model T here. Decided to cut his dash up a bit and change a few things. So he's getting us to finish off the bodywork and weld that up. And I think the visor was cloth originally. And he, uh, he welded a piece of metal in there. Decided he wants us to do the bodywork on that. I don't know what he used there for metal. Looks like he used fucking 14 gauge or something. Anyway, it is what it is. And the 84 by four, it's up and running. Couple little brake issues you gotta deal with, but it's up and running. That's just a fuel cell we kept laying around the yard. We just set it on there, that way there it moves it around. Put a couple bolts in it, so we're up better than a cherry can getting dropped every time, right? So doing that, but it's up and running and going. Uh, soon this one, this one's the next one to get painted actually. Well, actually, I, no, no, we're doing the VW. We're painting the VW. Yeah, we'll get you, almost show you what's going on with the VW right now, actually. But before we do that, the Model T, Mike's here, he's got everything braced up. You can see he started welding some patches in here and there. And what we're doing is, this guy brought us a four-door body. Well, he bought pieces of a four-door. So the back is a four-door, the front is from the two-door, and we're putting it all together, making it work. So it's a little longer, a little wider for him. So that's what's going on with that. This is the hood off the 67 Ford over here I just showed you. It was all rotten in here. We got all that welded up, taken care of, looking good. I got these boxes here. These are for uh, big uh, big trucks you see on the road. They're actually, these are for propane tanker trucks. This is where they keep all the shit in. Um, the gentleman has got me to get them, get them blasted, and then he wants to paint them the color of the truck rather than leave them like this. Because in the winter, the salt and shit just destroys them. So uh, all these pieces are from one I've got a part right here you can see in the back of my truck, which I'm going to take and get blasted right now. I was going to take the two of them apart, but when I got in here and started doing it, I started taking some pictures, which is a handy thing to do. But there's so many little bits and pieces, I was like, you know what? I'll just do one at a time. This way we'll bring that one back from blasting, and then I'll copy how it goes back together from this one, and then I'll take this one apart and send it. Sometimes just easier. Sometimes. Pictures are good too, don't get me wrong, I take pictures of everything, but it was just, it was so hard to get the camera in some of the spots to get some of these pictures, it's unreal. So, and uh, there's Big Red. Big Red is actually getting, uh, getting brick ball. Big Red is damn near ready for paint. We're gonna paint Big Red in pieces. That's just the way it's gonna be. So she's gonna get a nice paint job, all the, all the inners and jams and everything. Except I'm not painting the inside of the cab, I'm not going to that extreme. This is the wood. For the 4x4 you just saw in there, the 80, we stained it, it's red oak, looks good, looks good, um, anyway, let's take a look here, the Mustang, you guys saw the Mustang was coming along, here we go, we've gotten all the body work done on the quarters and the roof, now this is first, this is the rough end, it's in first primer, there you go, that's all done. And the doors are all body worked in primer and the fenders are in primer. The owner's picking up a new trunk lid and a new hood. His are just beyond fixing. So once he gets those, we're going to bolt this whole car together, make sure everything fits right. Just in case there's some tweaking to do with the new parts. And then we'll continue and go from there. So for right now, the Mustang's going to sit a little bit until we get the parts. But well, she's coming along really good. The Camaro. I haven't done a lot to it. I started putting the rear... Um, tail pan in. I've got it kind of tacked in place. Took lots of measurements. Like I said several times, I wrote them down. Lots of measurements. Everything seems to be fitting in there. So it's sitting right here. So it still needs, there's a good, there's a good solid day of messing around welding and fitting and all that on the back of this. And then that's done. Then it's basically go up underneath, look for any pinholes I might have missed um, while welding. Tidy them up, tidy any welds up that are underneath the car. And then, well, then clean it up. And then I guess we're on to, uh, we could go on to bodywork, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. We're looking at the VW. We're talking about the VW. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. Uh oh Here we go. The painter man's painting away here. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's... The, that's... Uh, so we're doing all the inner parts of the fenders first. We did do a texture spray on the fenders. 
because on these cars the rocks fly up and hit them so the texture spray will help a bit because when rocks fly up this and hit the metal you usually get these little chips that come up from the back up on the front side so this will help out a bit the texture spray Sean's just working his magic there it looks like that's the first coat that's the first coat right there that's not bad this paint is covering very very nice Okay, I gotta get the hell out of here because I can't breathe. I ain't got no mask on here, so let's get the hell out. Let's get the hell out. Alright. But it's pretty good in there. I got really good ventilation, so even without a mask on, it doesn't bother you much. Uh oh, the phone's ringing here. Let's see, do we want to answer it? No, we're not answering it. We couldn't be bothered right now. Okay, there's the doors right over there for Big Red. They're all ready to rock and roll. They're ready to be painted. Let's move on over here and see what's going on. So, this is a 72 Chev pickup that we're building for a gentleman down in Ladner, Delta, British Columbia. It is all texture sprayed inside. Now, some people ask me, Rick, what do you use for texture spray? What this is, this is Raptor. This is bed lining. Yeah, that's right. This is I do have texture spray I use too. Like on them fenders you saw back there. On the fenders you saw on the Volkswagen, that's actually rubberized texture spray that's paintable. You can paint over it. This Raptor, if you get it in black, you can't paint over it. I mean, I guess you can, but you're not supposed to they give you a colored one a white one you can paint over so I use Raptor on the floors inside and underneath the vehicle that's what I use and up on the fenders inside I use Raptor bed liner and as you can see it comes out very very smooth it's not like undercoating it lasts a long time way better than undercoating and it's actually washable it washes up and cleans up nice so this truck is all in second primer and been blocked and ready well right here is not ready yet but the insides all ready to go for paint a couple of areas of block here fenders are all done in second primer blocked and ready for paint and I believe the doors are done and blocked and ready for paint so we'll be painting the inside of this cab here pretty soon too within the next couple weeks and here's the VW here's the 70 bug that's got 68 parts on it the guys kind of making it his own style so this bug will be far from original but it'll still be very cool yeah so Big Red, there we are. Now I didn't pull, like I said, I didn't pull the rad support or anything off of Big Red. I'm not going to that extreme. I'm not painting a firewall. I'm not doing that. I mean, look at the paint on this firewall. The paint on the firewall is actually in very, very good shape for uh, for being like that. You know, but we are painting all the jams and shit like that. And uh, that's what's going on there. Oh, and those of you that are wondering, you probably think Big Red. Well, that's because I bought Big Blue. Big Blue is the newest addition to the family. Um, I know I'm old school and this is modern 6 liter AC power windows this one's fully loaded it's a 2003 one owner 200,000 kilometers and I got it for next to nothing all documented no accidents no nothing so I bought it because I just needed a little bigger truck for hauling kind of wanted the four-wheel drive and uh, it was just time for something new so big big red will be coming up for sale yes so there we go okay so that's what's uh that's what's happening in the shop today, guys. So sorry I'm getting behind on these videos, but you're going to see many more videos. I promise you. I'm going to get back on it now. It's been a busy, busy summer. Lots on the go. And, uh, well, what can I say? We're back at it. So, hey, remember, it's always a good time and old time. And I'm glad to have you back, if you are back.